Hi guys, this is Karan here from Headphone Zone and in today's video we'll be talking about Moondrop's latest release, the Moondrop Chew 2. Now for those of you who don't know, Moondrop Chew, the first generation of IEM, set about a trend in the audiophile world. For Rs. 2000, it was one of the first IEMs to present a fairly neutral sound signature. Now, Taking inspiration from the Chu, a lot of brands and IEMs followed that path and as a result you got the 700 Salnote 0, you got the Tangzu Warner SG, you got the Truthier Hola and all of these IEMs were well received by the audiophile community. So now after a year, Moondrop has revised the Chu and come out with the Chu 2. So now is this an upgrade, is this a side grade? Uh, has Moondrop rectified some of the issues that the audiophile community had? We'll talk about all of this in this video, so let's get started. Alright, so let's start the video by talking about the unboxing experience. Now, the unboxing experience for the Chew takes a little bit of a different approach than the Moondrop Chew, the first generation. The Chew came in with a bright and vibrant box and the shells were proudly showcased in that transparent covering. Now, with the Chew 2, you get this grey box with a black and white waifu and I know a lot of you people who enjoy this artwork are going to be a little bit disappointed, but stay with with me. Uh, as soon as you open the box, you're greeted with the shells, the Moondrop Chew 2 itself. Digging deeper, you'll find this nice carrying case and within this carrying case, you'll find the cable for the Moondrop Chew 2. And yes, the Chew 2 now comes with a detachable cable. Now you'll also find that you get three pairs of silicone ear tips and this time around they're not the spring tips. I know a lot of you will be disappointed but that's for a good reason and we'll talk about this later on in the video. You also get some literature and inside the packaging you'll find a nice colorful waifu and I think that is going to be an addition to a lot of collectors. Now the unboxing experience is fairly simple, they've taken a little bit of a different approach than the Moondrop Chu as I mentioned earlier uh, but I think this is a fairly no frills unboxing and it's it provides you with everything to get you started right out of the box. Alright, so moving on, let's talk a little bit about the build and the design language for the Chu 2. Now, just like the Chu, the first generation, the Chu 2 stays true to that design language. It features a full metal shell, uh, which is an alloy mixture developed by Moondrop. And this time around, you also get an anti-corrosive and an anti-chip paint job. Now, this is sort of an attempt from Moondrop to resolve the paint chipping issues that a lot of people were facing. Uh, this time around you'll also see there are some minor changes in the shells. Now this design basically helps you to wear the Chew 2 for a longer period of time without any fatigue or pressure points. So now with the metal housing and that anti-corrosive and anti-chipping paint job, I think this is one of the best built IEMs that you can get for yourself at the 2000 rupee price point and all the credit goes to the team at Moondrop for this designing the Chew 2 so well. Alright, so let's talk about what you guys have been waiting for. Uh, how does the Moondrop Chew 2 sound? Uh, so this time around, the team at Moondrop have taken a little bit of a different approach from the original Chew. The original Chew presented a fairly neutral sort of a tonality. Uh, a, a lot of people even found that to be a little bit bright and a lot of people were complaining about the lack of bass. Now with the Chew 2, Moondrop has sort of uh, addressed all of those requests and issues that a lot of people in the audiophile community had and the tuning for the Chew 2 now has a little bit of a bass shelf uh, especially in the sub bass region and the treble has been sort of uh, uh, retuned uh, with the upper mids being given a little bit of more presence while the extreme top registers have been rolled off a little bit. Now a lot of people People will not appreciate this bass shelf but I personally feel that this gives the Moondrop Chew a little bit of a body that the original Chew was missing. Uh, I've heard these IEMs with multiple genres and I think they just sound perfect. Uh, of course you miss that uh, mid bass thump sometimes while listening to hip hop or even listening to some electronic genres but overall if you're listening to your vocal 
forward music or pop music or even for that matter orchestral pieces the chew 2 does fairly well now as i mentioned that the moon drop chew does not come with the spring tips and that's for a good reason i tried using the chew 2 with uh, uh, the spring tips and it sort of elevates the bass region to a point where it muddies everything and i think these new silicon tips are a great addition and work really well with the new tuning now let's talk about each of the frequency regions in a little bit of detail uh, and let's start off with the bass the bass as I mentioned has a little bit of a shelf this time I particularly feel that the Moondrop team or the team of tuning engineers have sort of gone for that harmon target but of course they've done it in their own uh, uh, manner so uh, you you'll hear a lot of uh, sub bass rumble in the most nicest way and that sort of kind of slopes down into the mid range the mid range is very very clear i mean i can even go far as saying that this is a mid forward iem but the vocals the male vocals the female vocals are presented extremely well now sometimes because of that bass shelf you might uh, listen to some male vo vocal recordings and you might realize that it kind of sounds muddy but that will only happen if you are listening to something or uh, a male vocal that's in the baritone register but besides that i think the mid range is probably the star of the moon drop chew too now talking about the treble or the upper treble and the uh, lower mid range i think that the tuning that moon drop has gone for in that uh, upper mid range with a little bit of boost and then sort of cutting out the treble or the top end i think gives a very good clarity and presence to all the instruments that sit in the top end in the treble region your cymbals your hats they come out really nice and i think just with this little bit of tuning and tweaking in the top end and the bottom end i think makes the chew 2 sound really really nice now if i were to compare this to something like the sal note zero or the tangzo wana i would say that it kind of sits in between both of those iems uh, it's got that bass from tangzo wana and it's also got that top end clarity from sal note zero while still maintaining a very crisp and clear mid range uh, overall i think the chew 2 sounds fantastic and uh, people who have been complaining about the lack of bass are really going to enjoy this version all right so let's talk about my take or my conclusion about the chew 2s now the chew 2 uh, comes with a lot of refinement uh, the first thing is the design language that detachable cable that addition of the cable is really really welcome uh, another aspect that i sort of forgot to talk about is Moondrop has even implemented this uh, changeable or interchangeable nozzle design. Uh, now this was a big issue with the first generation of Chu where people who lived in humid environments uh, had this channel imbalance issue and I think with this replaceable nozzle filter I think they've resolved this issue. Uh, moving on the refinement in the tuning like that base shelf uh, a little bit of tweaking in the top end I think uh, goes a long way and makes for the listening experience to be really engaging and fun uh, if you're listening to genres like hip-hop uh, electronic music house techno deep house I think you're gonna really enjoy listening to those music on the chew too uh, now uh, even in terms of the design they've taken something which was really really well built and they've just pushed the boundary a little bit and now these IMs are really really comfortable and ergonomic to wear so no problems on that front as well now as in the start of the video we discuss whether this is an upgrade or is this a side grade to the first generation of two and i personally feel that there is going to be a group of people who are going to consider this as an upgrade especially people who were missing that base on the shoe and while people who enjoyed that neutral tonality of the chew the first generation i think it's going to be sort of a different uh, flavor or a side grade for them overall the chew 2 is a fantastic iem for rupees 2000 and i think you should definitely give it a try and add this to your collection all right so that was it for today that was my review and take on the moon drop chew 
too now if you'd like to try these out for yourself i welcome you to our experience studio here in mumbai and if you're not from mumbai you can catch us at a headphone connect event happening at a city near you that's it for today i'll see you in the next one